Well good evening everybody, or good morning, depends when you're watching this video. So I decided to come fishing to Spain Point this weekend, I thought I'd spend one more night in the van. It's great here, I haven't been here for quite a long time but um, I just thought I'd come here for the night so. So I thought while I'm here I might as well do a little video. A lot of this will be drone footage so I hope you like the old drone footage. So I thought I'd come here and show you all the erosion and see what it's like now, all the places that have gone. Sadly, all of the um, the old army, all all the old army bunkers and stuff like that have gone over the cliff now. So that's a shame because I was hoping to show you them, but I haven't been here for that long. And in I think it was two thousand and eight, there was a, a tidal surge which washed away a lot of the old bunkers and it actually damaged the road at one time you could drive right up to the end of here but now you can't because it's the road's gone but I'll have a walk up there tomorrow and I'll get some film uh, some film footage for it and we're gonna go fishing here and enjoy it I'll show you around all that years ago when I was last year was actually on land and that's the sort of er erosion we're getting on the east coast. They're not really doing anything about it. But yeah, I thought I'd do a video while I was here. It won't be my usual type of video, but I just thought I'd do it. The wind noise is probably going to be a bit too much here, but if it is, I'll put an explanation in our voiceover. spend point love it great place to go fishing really like it so I'll show you some drone footage you can have a look around if you've never been to spend point it'll be quite interesting Spen lighthouse is located as one might expect at the end of the spend peninsula there is no vehicular access down to the lighthouse with the sole exception of the Trust Spen Safari Tours. Access to the lighthouse is via the 3.5 mile walk or cycle routes which cross the sandy washover area. Please be aware that high tide sees the lighthouse cut off from the mainland and that it is very dangerous to attempt to cross the washover area when it is covered in water. In order to plan your visit, you must check the tide times and you must be off the lighthouse area before the hard tide comes. The part we're now seeing took the brunt of force in the 2008 tidal surge which saw a 30 foot cliff descend to sand. It is now only approximately one metre and during hard tide the North Sea on the left now crosses into the River Humber on the right making it impassable. Well good morning. So I thought I'd bring you to the um, Spen Point today, a little place. I, I come fishing here last night. I thought for one last night, I'll have one last night in the van and I'll, um, I'll do a bit of fishing. But I've come here to Spen Point and I've got to be honest, I'm a bit shocked how it's changed. The lifeboat station's still at the end. I can't really show you that because you're not allowed to fly the drone over there, but you are all right everywhere else apparently. But yeah, how, how much it's changed. I used to come here as a kid. We used to all come on our motorbikes and park up on here and spend the night right here, right where these, we used to put the tents around here. The sea used to be way out. Then in 2008, it suffered a, a massive tidal surge and it actually washed away the middle of the path to the point. And now it's just, Actually, where I'm stood now at high tide, especially at um, anything above a nine metre high tide, this actually turns into an island. The sand's all over the place, warning you to make sure you've got enough time to get off before high tide or you're here for the night. Well, you're here for a few hours while the tide goes back down. There used to be tunnels along here, I'll show you. There's the lighthouse, that was refurbished, I think it was 1984. And um, 
it was in service up until 1984 and then they refurbished it. I'll get the full details on that before I tell you, but that's the lighthouse. Along here, along this bank you can see here, was used to be all tunnels where you could get under the under the island and you could get into all the old army barracks. You can only see the remains of them there. And there was a big, like a, a fortress place on the end of it. I just can't believe how it's all gone. And I mean, it's lucky, but the pier is still there. But I think that's, I think that's either been shortened or rebuilt. You can see all the RNLI lifeboat station there with the, what do they call that? A satellite thing, whatever they do. And now because of modern technology, they don't use this lighthouse now. It's now, um, it's just, uh, just sadly a sort of tourist thing. We'll take some better photos of that. I'm going to get the drone up in a minute and uh, take some footage of it. This was one of the original lights that guided ships into the River Humber. It was designed to be a land with its twin in Immingham. Then ships could pass safely into the river estuary and along the river to Hull and surrounding areas. In 1895, the main lighthouse was built. It was designed by Sir Thomas Matthews and this would then replace the two lights at the mouth of the River Humber. Just at the bottom right of this picture, you can actually see the remains of the barracks what was here during the war. These were covered up at one time and the tunnels that I was telling you about earlier, this is where you would come out. You could actually cross right through the underneath of the peninsula. During the war, around 80 men would be stationed at Spain Point, plus 20 officers. The men would sleep in barracks where there would be about 20 to a room, whilst the officers had some very nice houses just further down the peninsula. Sadly, they've all gone and only the foundations can now be seen. It's a really interesting place, Spain Point, when you get to spend um, time in here. These are just some of the old remaining barracks, what remain today. As I said, there used to be, um, there used to be a lot more to it, but sadly it's got washed away. This is all that remains, really. Just gonna have a look. So this is the old war signal station, or what's left of it. There was loads of stuff around here at one time. And you could go in all these. None of them were fen fenced in before the days of health and safety. This is the only bunker you can walk in at the moment on Spam Point. You can still see the original brickwork. It's only about a hundred yards from the edge of the river, so I don't see this lasting much longer either. This is some of the women who served on the island. There was up to 40 women who were serving on this island. And next to it is the poster of the original tunnels and some of the original barracks what was on this part of the peninsula. The tunnels was designed to give the soldiers a way of escaping, should it ever be attacked by the enemy. The main use of this part of the facility on the peninsula was to give an early warning system of incoming aircraft so that action could be taken and the gunships could be ready to go. See what we can find up here. And this is the um, North Sea side. North Sea side. I'll show you that. 
and then we'll have a look on the going all the way down. And you can see on this side, look, some of the old bunkers, what used to be here. Uh, if you look along there, you can still see the old bunkers further up in the distance. And um, these used to be, as I say, massive when I was a kid. Oh, somebody's left a tripod. Yeah, you can see. You can see where all the old bunkers used to be. And it goes right to the point. Sadly, I can't pull in that far, but. All washed away now, all gone. Right, so we'll carry, along, carry on along the path. I don't know whose tripod that is. I don't know to take it and take it back up the road. I'll leave it there. This part of Spen, I'm soaking wet, but this part of Spen was used as grain fields during the war for famine, um, to ease famine. There used to be a big house over there just over there you could, but you can it's it's sort of washed away but you can still see some of the um, foundations and that what what exists today but this land all this land round here was used for the to grow crops for the people who was in on the in the army at the time it says so there on that poster but you can see how hard it used to be you know this is just one half and the other half at the other side was as wide as this. So you can see how wide it used to be, but I'll show you what it's like now when we get nearer down there. So this is a part what's really took a hammer in with the old um, storm surge. You can see just over there, if you look to the left, you can actually see where the North Sea came over into the River Umber. It was never like that, it was really high but it took such a battering that it's just ruined it now. And you can no longer get vehicular, vehicular access. But we'll have a look. This is one of the huts where you have to wait. If you, the sand's all over saying, make sure you've got time to get back across this part during high tide because I don't think it does it every tide, but if it's a particularly high tide, you can't get across. And like I said earlier, this part actually turns into an island. So this is one of the huts that they've provided so that you can wait it out and just wait for the tide to um, go out. Years ago, this was really wide and a good, don't know, what are we, 20 feet off the ground? 20, 20, 30 feet off? And that's what you get all over Spen Point. And that's um, quite common now. You also get a, a tad table telling you when the hard tad is expected. It's not while eight o'clock tonight, so I judged it right. This has all been rebuilt, by the way. This this isn't the original road, even this part. Um, it's all got new flags in and new bits of like a reinforcement thing. They actually did it all, but it was too low. 
so it got hit again and now I think they've just given up but this is this is it this is now sea level and it used to be like that which is behind quite a cliff and all this was the road which is now sadly gone and they won't repair it now it's just I think they're fighting a lost battle So that's it, we're at sea level. And that's why you get the warning to get off here before um, high tide, because otherwise you have to just wait it out. I mean, even there, look, you can see at least a metre, a metre and a half of cliff. But here, it's just totally gone. And that was caused by the surge, the spring tide, the, um, in 2008. It just absolutely battered it and got through. And now you can actually see the river under there. At one time, you wouldn't have been able to do that. It'd have been quite a walk. You can actually see some of the concrete pillars and they used to be, they're all over this side of the beach. And they used to be up there. Well, this was up there. You can see the big platform there, look where there was some kind of building or bunker. And that's littered all over here now. I'll show you some more when we get back to where the van's parked. It's a real shame. I mean, that is literally nearly level, not far off. That's only a couple of metres now. That used to be a good 10 metres high, like the rest of it, what we've just been walking on. A good 10 metres high. Easily 30 feet, easily. And you can now actually see the River Umber. And that's why you can't bring your car up to the end anymore. Because it just can't be done. Unless it's a 4x4 or a big truck. They actually have a... I think it's an ex-army truck. It's like something you see on Bug Out Vehicles UK. You know, one of them sort of trucks. And it has a load of passenger seats. It's been converted to a bus. And I think they bring you down here for um, day trips and that probably charge you about 10 quid each or something but don't they all this is all that remains of the bunkers at Spain Point this is at the beginning of the peninsula sadly within a few months this will probably disappear into the sea as well Spain Point was never attacked during World War 1 and World War 2 so the soldiers who were based here were just purely here for maintenance and a hundred years later Little did anybody know then, it would be Mother Nature who would win the battle in the end. So, a little bit different from me. I hope you enjoyed that little jitty down the old um, spin point. If you did, give it the thumbs up. A um, bit of a different video for me, but I'm just trying to keep the channel going at the minute. This is the last time you'll see this van. It is now going to its new owner within the next, with the either I'm going to post this Friday night, so it'll either be over the weekend or during that week it's going. I've now found, I've now found a new van. I'll be laying a deposit on that next week and just hope everything goes okay because I don't want to lose it. It's a great van. Well, bigger than a van, but I'll show you that next week. So don't forget to subscribe, like, share, take care, and I'll see you on the next one.